Amaka begged her husband to kill her while clinging to his clothes. She closed her eyes and yelled as the first blow to her body struck her. Then there were blows and blows. Amaka cried and fought back even as he hit her. Despite being smaller, Femi was a match for her. She wailed bitterly on the floor as he viciously beat her before leaving the room. Amaka had spent hours crying. Her heart aching and bleeding from the agony her husband had just subjected her to. She never dreamed that he would be able to treat her this way. Not even in her wildest dreams. How did the love he promised me turn out to be this? The place to support me always. Whatever became of that promise? She sobbed vehemently as she reflected on everything they had shared. She cried for a while. And when she finally stopped, she had a persistent headache. Femi didn't return home that evening. She tried to phone him at 1 in the morning and he still hadn't returned home. She was terrified when his line was cut off. She called and called each member of his family if he was at their home and each of them responded that he wasn't. Amaka was scared. She experienced a variety of terrifying thoughts. What if he experiences something bad? What if he got into a mishap? What if he isn't alive? He has never stormed out of the house in a range and capped out. She grew anxious and hoped for the first light of the day so she could go look for him. She was in the living room when she finally fell asleep after struggling to get sleep all night. He didn't enter the room until 10 minutes after she fell asleep and he was drunk. Amaka checked the time and saw that it was past 3 in the morning. What sort of a man would remain out that late? He disregarded her question as he stumbled into the room. When she asked him where he had been, he cautioned her to avoid him after she followed him. Additionally, he made a threat to deal with her if she got close to him. Amaka sighed in disappointment. She got up and went to the first room to lie down. She ultimately fell asleep since she was so weak and exhausted. She woke up late and hurried to make her husband's breakfast. He didn't go to work that day because it was the weekend. Even when she tried to make amends, he disregarded her and wouldn't even eat her food. Amaka wasn't used to her husband this way. She cried quietly as he broke her heart. After that day, despite her best efforts for peace, Femi remained adamant. It made the atmosphere in the room tense and hostile. She went to report him to his parents she was sick of it all. They were both invited to a meeting by his parents. They went their different ways and met there. When Amaka was called to speak, she described what had occurred. Femi was asked to explain as well. And he did. So by outlining what happened, Amaka stared in disbelief at her husband as he spoke. She never in her wildest dreams imagined that he would harbor such animosity for her. Amaka, whose mouth was wide in astonishment, listened to her husband speak. Will this couple's love ever be the same as it was before? What specifically did Femi say about Amaka? Learn more in the next episode. This is a must watch. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment what you think of this episode as I'll be responding to as much as I can. Until we see you again. Bye.